Your sodium thiosulfate must be checked to be functional before each sampling event. To get started, take off the cap of your titration tube and rinse your titrating tube with about 5 ml of your iodate iodide standard solution. Quickly replace all caps when not in use. Rinse the inside of the container, making sure to cover the entire titration tube and empty into your waste container or down the sink. Pour 20 ml of iodate iodide standard into the titration tube. Rest the tube on a table and get down to eye level to make sure the bottom of the meniscus or curve is on top of the 20 mil line. Use the eyedropper to remove any excess down the drain, never back into the brown bottle. Add 8 drops of sulfuric acid. Whenever you add drops, be sure to hold the bottle completely vertical to ensure an equal drop size. Recap your sulfuric acid, put the cap back on your titration tube, and gently mix by swirling. Once your titrator is properly filled with 10 ml of sodium thiosulfate, we are ready to begin our titration. To know that the sodium thiosulfate is functioning properly, our results for our iodate iodide standard should be between 9.4 and 10 mg per liter. To begin, place your titrator in the cap and add a few drops of sodium thiosulfate, then gently swirl the mixture. Continue this process until you reach a pale yellow color. It helps to have your titration tube against a white background. Remove the cap, leaving the titrator in place. Add 8 drops of starch solution, holding the bottle completely vertical. Replace the cap and gently swirl to mix a uniform color. Continue your titration process, adding a couple drops at a time, then swirling gently until you have reached a uniform light blue color. When you have reached light blue, add one drop at a time and mix well. It will take just one drop to turn the solution completely clear. Once the solution has turned clear, stop titration and read the results on your titrator. Here we can see that our result is 9.6 mg per liter, so we know our sodium thiosulfate is functional. Record this result on your datasheet and proceed with collecting your sample. Perform a second test only if the result is less than 9.4 or greater than 10. Record this result on your data sheet marked second check. If the second check is also out of range, contact your coordinator to obtain new sodium thiosulfate and do not take your DO sample for the day. If the second test is within range, record this result on your data sheet and perform a third check to confirm. If the third check is within range, you can collect your sample. Use this same titration method on your sample water after it has been fixed in the field to determine the dissolved oxygen content. Remember, adding sulfuric acid is part of fixing your sample in the field, so do not add sulfuric acid into the titration tube when you are testing your sample water.